68-year-old gentleman who enjoyed good past health. He presented with dysphagia, foot regurgitation and cough, with OGD showing the upper esophageal sphincter at 16 cm from the incisor. But just beneath the UES, there was a 6 cm diverticulum with foot residue within. The scope preferentially entered the diverticulum. CT forex in 2013 done for cough and sputum showed the 6 cm outbulging just below the cricopharynges. Patient previously refused surgery, but now agrees. This is the image of the outbulging. And today we're going to do endoscopic septo septoptomy. Yeah, good afternoon. Um, this is really a huge diverticulum. I think this is the largest I ever saw. So, um, and we did quite a lot. Um, I'm now in the, in the esophagus and going back, you see here, I have a, a already inserted a tube. Usually in my clinic we use a special tube from Cook where you can fix the septum. Uh, and then you can cut very nicely, but uh, in my clinic the patients are not intubated. This is the case right now, so the risk for aspiration is, is low. And then uh, to the left, this is the opening of the diverticulum. I can insert and I had to clean uh, this huge diverticulum. There were a lot of debris and noodles and <laughs> a, a lot of food. So there were lots of food there. This is almost clean right now, and you can imagine that the patient uh, has some uh, problems by uh, swallowing and coughing. The, um, what we do now right now is to, to start with um, uh, septotomia. I do two usually we started in the previous time, can I have some knife, with um, one incision in the middle using different knives. The first studies were shown with APC. Then a needle knife, we used then the hook knife, and finally we used the SP knife, a scissor which was developed for um, um, ESD. This knife is very safe, and you can cut the septum very easily. But the problem is that after cutting oops, the septum, the patients develop a recurrence. You cut it in one way and then the after a week or months they developed scar and this initially was like a V and then the, the, the scar induces uh, again uh, a recurrence. So the idea was to make two cuts and uh, take out this piece of septum with a snare. And we did now about 50 cases with this technique and could reduce our recurrence rate from about 20% to now 5%. So I will start now on the, on the left side of the diverticulum. And so this is a knife and go a little bit forward, yes. Yeah, stay here, stay here, stable, yeah. And open please, yeah. So the first cut is always to cut uh, uh, mucosa. Turn a little bit. So yeah. Okay, close. Uh, sorry for my ignorance. Open. So uh, do Open. How, how does this uh, endoscopic treatment compare with conventional surgery? Oh, um. Close. Mm-hmm. You know, there. Uh, can you guys hear me? Yes. Open. Go ahead. Mm. So they're uh, not aware of any trials that com compared both, but uh, the uh, standard technique that uh, the ENT folks do these days is uh, using their stapler, close, and uh, close. that's uh, semi-blind because uh, when uh, they're using rigid instruments, and they really have no way to Open. tell that they're at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is definitely risk of recurrence. I personally have done multiple oh. cases who have had uh, uh, yeah. stapled septotomy Close. before. Uh, the other approach, which is the lateral uh, neck approach, is uh, has has been largely abandoned. Uh, it's uh, it's morbid. Um, 
but but in terms of long-term uh, outcomes, mm -hmm. uh, there's there's no good trial that compares both techniques. No, there's no randomized trial um, so far. Here, uh, here he's using the um, SB Junior knife okay. because the standard one, the long one, is not available. So this is short. Yeah, uh, so it it's going to be a little slower. It is slower and and, and uh, it's much more difficult without this special tube. Yeah, so usually you have a, a really nice view on the on the septum, which is not possible right now. So I'm not sure whether I can use my technique because the overview is not yeah, so good yeah. with, yeah. with with this. Uh so so the co uh, the over tube uh, he's talking about is the cook over tube that uh, goes on both sides of the septum, and septum will it's be close? in the in the in the middle. So good exposure, and mm -hmm. that uh, can, way can he, he, clean he has a enough uh, room to do both uh, longitudinal cuts. Yeah, here I think it's not going to be that easy. No, it's yeah. uh, I think this is double incision snare technique is not not possible with this uh, without this tube because it's not so stable and yeah. S so I, one I will clean now. So one uh, char characteristic of uh, this SB knife is that it is insul insulated on the. Uh, uh, on the outside of it, so that way we, c we protect the opposite side of the esophagus, which is important. Yeah. And the other aspect of it is uh, if you have bleeding, you can use it as, uh, as a coag grasper. So you can use yeah. soft coagulation and coagulate uh, the, the vessels. So that's another characteristic. But uh, this is uh, not perfect for this indication, really. Uh, he, he needed the, l the long one. And I think that's seven millimeter in length, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Much shorter. In the U.S., we don't have this over tube. Wait, we don't have what? We don't have Open. this over tube. Yeah, it's yeah. not FDA approved. So uh, Close. a lot of times you'll leave an NG tube in the esophageal lumen just to, you know, maintain visualization uh, of that as opposed to the, the tick side. And Moen, you want to talk about your Z poem approach for these? Uh, yeah, we actually were debating: shall we, shall we change <laughs> our technique I'm here? Because you didn't convince uh, Helmut to try. It. Uh, no, I mean I don't want to steal his thunder on this case. He he really has a great experience with uh, with this yeah, double yeah. Uh, septotomy technique. Uh, but but uh, usually, as I said, we use uh, a, a different tube. Yeah, yeah. And with yeah. with this tube, it's not possible. It's this technique. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it, it would Close. have made sense uh, because the tunnel can go very fast. So if you have uh, a six centimeter uh, septum, uh, Open. the, the uh, tunneling technique really can go very fast. Open. But uh, the way we do it, uh, and I have experience with uh, 25 cases uh, over the last one and a half years, Open. is we tunnel just like a centimeter and a half mm -hmm. proximal to the septum, along the septum. And we make a small uh, mucosal Open. incision, and then we do some submucosal tunneling, and you get to the septum right away. Clo uh, and clean. then you tunnel on both sides of the septum. So you're creating two submucosal tunnels, one on the uh, one on the luminal side and one on the diverticulum side. And that, what that does, it exposes the entire septum, and the septum, you know, continues and uh, connects with the esophageal muscularis propria. Mm -hmm. So there's no limit for the length of myotomy you can do, and that way you make sure you're not using any septum. That's the theoretical mm. advantage. Uh, but if you do POEM, you can do it. It's a little bit more technically challenging, especially the closure part of it. Uh, but, um, but our results have been, have been really good. We recently submitted to the W76 cases, few of us who, who are doing this, and the outcomes are, are uh, superb. There's an announcement that uh, the tea break is ready, so if you need a, a coffee or something, uh, they they will be served outside. Open. Oh, it looks like you're you're getting through uh, the mucosa there. Close. Obviously, bleeding is one of the risks with this procedure, both <coughs> during and delayed. So one, uh, you know, before I, I was using uh, the SB knife, um, the mm -hmm. IT knife that you guys Open. used uh, in, the, in the other case uh, works very well uh, here. It has a long uh, shaft, so it's efficient. And with the insulated tip, you protect the esophageal yep. wall on yep. the opposite side.
open close open how much do you feel like your position is a little bit more stable now at this For a while, we'll have a look on the ESD case. In the room four. Close. Oh, it looks like you're down to the muscle. <laughs> Open. <laughs> Open. <laughs> yeah. So you're Close. cutting further down. Can you hear us? Open. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're on camera. I am on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're cutting more down. Yeah, it's but working. But it looks like you're still. doing. I mean, a s standard diverticulotomy. Yeah, yeah, point? standard technique. No yeah. double septotomy no, on this one. Okay. Because we don't have this special overtube, and um, the visibility is is not so good. So I I use now the, um, this SP knife just for a standard procedure. Yeah. And you can also use, or I've used a uh, hook open. knife. It's a small ESP layer. knife, unfortunately, but uh, nevertheless, it works qu quite good. Close. Open. Close. It's working very well now. Open. Yep. So Turn. Yep. So, what are your landmarks when you know you've, you've cut enough? Well, <laughs> in this situation, we have still five centimeters to cut. I'm not sure whether I will cut the whole uh, sinker, and uh, at the end, definitely we need some clips um, because he has sometimes minor bleedings. Usually, it's not an issue, but uh, making a lot a lot of cuts close. So uh, open, <laughs> open. So Osma, the, uh, the when, when we get to the bottom of the diverticulum, then then we have to check like it, can we cut more? Or are we done? But we we have way to go. So yeah, that's yeah. not an it's issue right now. It's a moment now. You see, yeah. still a long way. <laughs> Look here. Okay, it was one centimeter. A new case. Um, we'll be back. We'll ah. be back. Long way home. Yeah, uh, it's still yeah. a long yeah. way. So, uh, hello. Hello. Hello, Dr. Messman. Hello. How yeah, hello. Uh, I'm already uh, have finished. So, the diverticulum is really huge. You see here, this is a whole sinker which I, the septum which I <laughs> cut. And cut. here is the esophagus. And there's almost just a small, a small edge left. So, I won't go deeper. So maybe just this a few fibers, but that's it. And then I'd put some clips on it, open. Yeah, close. Okay, so let's check again. So that's, um, and I think he should definitely improve with his symptoms. So this is now the, the final result. And I think we can stop here. The patient got some antibiotics and 24 hours nil by mouth and tomorrow I would recommend an x-ray. Uh, sometimes I check whether there's an emphysema in the skin, but he's, he's fine. So no need to, to go deeper. I would, I would stop right here now, open. Just Helmet, a few. Uh, you, you said just an x-ray or an esophagram? Yeah, 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 esophagus, esophagus, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> a swallow. This and I use some calculation and then the cut, yeah, so, yeah, just close. So uh, I think that's it, yeah. We'll take now some clips, please. It's a little bit asymmetric and it, it wouldn't be useful to use this technique um, because it's so narrow with this uh, with this kind of tube, so the visibility is a little bit uh, poor. 
yeah, and therefore I start with some clips at the bottom, and then the I'll Which check whether there is a, a need for more than three or four five clips. Usually, that's enough. The patient don't have any problems with the clips, so no no problems um, regarding any dysphagia.